Samantha Yeo's recovered from that emotional outburst after the race to put on her biggest smile because tonight alone I mean she's had so many nights in the sea games but tonight alone she will remember for the rest of her life she's my MVP for the night um, hands down winning two go I mean winning two silver medals um, I mean we've got turn we've got Joe winning gold medals but to me she she's had the outstanding performances for tonight two amazing races breaking very long records by Jocelyn and Nicolette Joe now this lady has broken a sea games record and how as well she's lowered the record by 0.82 seconds in a short race that is an amazing feat and we did say as well from the start at uh, the moment uh, Xiao Yiting decided to leave the sport Malaysia she said we're in good hands we wanted to know why and Christina Lo came about and won this race and then in 2015 eating herself named that lady Featuring Un as the next to look out for. Now, if you're a Sea Games multiple gold medalist like Xiao Yiting, when you say that, you know that Featuring Un was going to be special, and she has been over the last two years in this region. But this year has been a wonderful one for Anandia Ivato of Indonesia. In fact, when she swam at the Singapore Championships in the National Age Group and the National Swimming Champs, she won them both to already signal that uh, she was going to be one of those who are termed dark horses in this race i can tell you that uh, christy Meichu has also clocked a personal best in finishing fourth 11 1 11 01 is her new personal best but this lady is now the new national record holder in this event for singapore and the first singaporean to dip below 110 with her silver medal performance Take a bow, Samantha Luisa Yo, you deserve it. Most of her swims this year came at the Canadian trials. And just moving out of your comfort zone has and given her an extra competitive oh, edge oh, which she has brought to Kuala Lumpur. But all of Kuala Lumpur are roaring because it's their first gold medal of the night and it belongs to a lady who finished second in the 50 meters breaststroke but here no peers defending champion defends and she's got a lot of family and friends coming from Selangor not too far away from this uh, venue who've come to the stadium to watch her clinch her second individual gold medal of her fledgling Sea Games career, Fiji Un, gold medalist and Sea Games record holder of the 100 meters breaststroke for women. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Malaysia.
As I said, it's a SEA Games record 109, but it's not her personal best time because she can go lower. She owns the Malaysian national record of 108.65. She is quick and she has delivered in quick fire time in front of her fans, which was exactly what she wanted when she won it in 2015. She was saying that was just the appetizer for the main course. And tonight was the main course. And that swim was as delicious as you get. It's the last swim of the night for all three ladies. So milk it as much as possible. I'm not sure that Samantha's going to get any sleep tonight. I mean, she'll be so excited thinking about the races oh. and what she's accomplished um, just this evening alone. She shouldn't check her phone now. 105 WhatsApp messages at least. That's what happens when she opens it up. They might even start up Samantha. There's great group chats for all you know. Samantha's a national record holder group chat because uh, she's not just a record holder, she's a double record holder tonight within the space of 20 minutes, could you believe? And breaking national records that have been around for a decade. Yeah, that's right. Combined uh, 14, uh, 24 years, of course. One of them 14 years, the other one 10 years. 